Hi, I'm Carl. Today I'm going to describe how to create a house diagram of your electrical circuits to your outlets, appliances, and lights so that you can get to the right circuit when you need to quickly. So the reasons why I have uh, a diagram of where all the breakers and the uh, electrical outlets are is primarily three. One is if there's an emergency. You know, something comes up where I simply need to get that breaker turned off and get the electricity stopped flowing to that particular uh, item. I actually had that happen recently where I had a roof leak, it came through the ceiling light, and as soon as I saw that water dripping through that ceiling light, I knew I wanted to get that breaker off now. And I didn't want to play the game of, is this it? Is this it? Uh, the second reason would be if it's something urgent, perhaps not an emergency, but maybe go to turn a light on and it doesn't go on, you discover it's not the bulb, it perhaps is a switch. Well, again, I want to turn the breaker off uh, to that switch so that I can take care of it in a, in a timely manner. And then the third, which is the most common, is that we have some kind of a project that we want to do. Uh, could be that light switch, it could be that we're adding some uh, more outlets, uh, or we're remodeling the house, and we want to be able to identify which breakers go to which outlets and appliances, etc. And the reality is that if you don't do the diagram ahead of time, when you do have that emergency, you're still going to have to go through the same motions. It's just that it's going to be with a little bit more panic. You know, and the most important thing to know is where your circuit breakers are. Uh, really, this is something you should know for safety purposes. In our neighborhood, we practice emergency pre uh, preparedness, and everyone knows where their electrical panel is, they know where their water shutoff is, and they know where the gas shutoff is. In fact, everyone in this neighborhood knows where each other's is in case of emergency we can help out. So mine is in the garage, and if you open it up, you can see all the circuits for the house. And knowing what these do and where they go to is very important. We have the main shutoff is up here. This is if I want to turn everything off in the house. I rarely have to do that. Uh, no, normally, I want to look at, each, be able to know what each circuit breaker uh, goes to. Now, on the side of the panel, there's actually a diagram that shows, or I should say a list that shows where all these circuits go to. What I have found in every single case is that this is usually incomplete and oftentimes actually inaccurate. Now I'll start with this to give me a clue about where these circuits go in the house, but this is not what I want to complete. Let's take a closer look at the panel. And one thing that I want to assure you is that the surface of these panels is safe. They're designed to be safe so that you can get in here and turn the breakers, as they're called, because they break the current between the street and the house. So I want to be able to get in here and turn the breakers off and on. Right now, as you can see, these are all in the on position. Now, it might be a little bit confusing because what you see is off. And in fact, the toggle moves toward the off position or you move it toward or the on position. So I am currently turning off the electricity to the bedroom, and now I'm turning it back on. The other thing you'll notice is that some of these breakers are actually tied together. So this is usually because it's an appliance, it's a big item going to be drawing a lot of electricity. So you'll see those together, and those are obvious because they're actually bound together. Each individual breaker is numbered one through 13 and 14 through 27. Uh, there's nothing magical about that except that uh, you can go one and start at the top here, go down, you can use letters, whatever works for you. The important thing is that you be able to, that you're able to identify each breaker as you go through the test. So there's only a few things you really need to have to do uh, a diagram. 
One is something to uh, draw a diagram on that shows the layout of a room. You know, a straight edge is useful, certainly a pen, and a tester. So the most important piece of equipment that you're going to use for uh, doing this, some kind of tester that tells you whether electricity is running to that outlet. And something as simple as this or this, it doesn't matter what kind you have. What you want to know is, and this tells you whether the electricity is coming through when the light is on. And when you turn the switch off, it goes off. Turn the switch on, it goes back on, turn off, etc. Same thing with this. When the switch is on, you'll see electricity. If you turn the switch off at the panel, it goes off and it goes back, back on. And you'll see this as we're uh, testing the circuits. When I'm making the diagram, I use different symbols for uh, different items. For example, I have a uh, circle with two lines to it for the outlets. I have a money sign I use for switches and this kind of ash trick with the circle around it for lights. So my wife is in the garage. She's going to be turning the uh, breakers off and on as we yell to each other. Um, and we're gonna give it a try. So we're gonna start with the first one. Now on the panel, I actually said cooktop by next uh, circuit one and three. So we got a good idea of where to start. We're gonna make our way through. All right, hon, ready? All right, circuit one, please. Okay, let's wait, check, and which, uh, that is still showing lit. Would you please go to two? All right, light is still showing. Three, please. All right, that's the right one. So let's leave that off and I'm gonna try a couple more. First, I'm gonna mark this to indicate that that was circuit three. It's breaker three. I'm gonna to toggle, push this around in the outlet a little bit here. Okay, ah, that's good. I found two outlets that work off of number three. I'll do the same thing here. As long as we have it off, I'm not seeing any lighting up, as long as I'm next to the garbage disposal, not likely to be on number three, but I'll give it a try. Okay, obviously it doesn't run it. Then I will try the last one on the counter. And as I wiggle the ladder around, I'm not getting any light, so I found four outlets off of one circuit breaker. All right, thanks, Todd. Let's uh, go to the next one, please. So I'm on the other side of the kitchen, and uh, the good news about this side is that uh, it, it has light switches, so instead of having to always use that little tester, I can just turn the light switch on and wait until uh, we find the right circuit for it. When it flicks off, as she turns the breakers off and on, then we know that's it. Uh, I encourage marking both the light and the switch. So when I do the overhead light, I'm also going to indicate in the center here that that was number 14 and that the switches are number 14. All right? It just uh, tells me I am absolutely sure these lights are worked by those switches. So this is going to take some time, no doubt about it. When you're done, you're going to have to reset all of your uh, clocks um, and hopefully not reset your refrigerators, you do have to reset the clocks on your ovens, etc. Uh, if they have an extra clock on it. Uh, but it is well worth it. And, and that's the, the thing I want to stress here is that having this done will truly make you safer uh, and, and make life a little bit less frustrating when time comes to need to turn those breakers off. Well, now that the entire house is done, I'm going to take the next step, and that is I'm going to put uh, the diagrams, the handwritten ones, and put them in electronic format so that I can adjust them later if necessary, so I can put them into a Word document, PowerPoint, Excel. Uh, actually, the ones I do before were Visio. I learned not to do that because 
I was on a different computer, and now you have to repurchase Vizio in order to adjust it. So having an electronic version of this is handy, but then the next step is to actually take each circuit, number one, two, three, four, five, etc., and list all the items that affect so I can cross check. So if I go to tur turn a circuit off, so circuit number one off, I know all the appliances and lights and outlets that that's going to affect. Same thing with two, three, etc. So remember in the beginning, I showed you the, di the two diagrams that we're going to create, or the diagram and the list, and now this is what they look like again. Well, thanks for watching House and Garden Hacks. Hope that was useful to you. Have a good day.